I probably wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for that transplant. Um, my heart was already starting to have issues. And so it gave me uh, my opportunity to get a great job, to, to get married, to have kids and everything. Anymore, they didn't get the opportunity. Richard to... Gerwood suffers from type 1 diabetes, a chronic condition in which a pancreas produces little or no insulin, the hormone needed to regulate glucose or sugar in the human body. Yeah, uh, I remember the shots. They weren't small like they are now. They were bigger. And, uh, and I was super thin. I was real thin. That diagnosis means a lifetime of insulin injections, while the search for a one-time fix for it has remained elusive. Each breakthrough has come with a hurdle. One of these solutions has existed for a while, a pancreatic islet transfer, transplanting isolated islets from a donor pancreas into another person. Once transplanted, the islets begin to produce insulin. The problem is the human body rejecting these cells and patients needing to take immunosuppressive drugs. We have now 20 year survival of the patients receiving an islet transplant that show that they're even better than patients doing insulin without immunosuppression. Dr. Camilo Ricordi is the inventor of the procedure, and Richard Gerwitz is one of his patients, receiving the transfer 20 years ago. Researchers from the University of Missouri, Georgia Institute of Technology, and Massachusetts General Hospital have advanced the eyelid transplant procedure. Through experiments in monkeys, they have discovered a way to transplant the eyelids, combined with a specific protein in the form of a microgel that appears to eliminate the rejection risk. So, how big, how important this new technique and discovery could be for diabetic type 1 patients here in the U.S. and in the world? This is a, a significant, I would say, it's a huge development because now, we, if successful, we should be able to transplant islets and also this may be applicable to stem cell-derived insulin-producing cells in order to transplant them to recipients without using the toxic drugs. Not only that, we think that this approach could be used in other cell transplantation settings to address many other uh, diseases. These researchers have also joined the Scientific Advisory Board of Eye Tolerance, a biotech company now working toward clinical trials in humans. And hopefully, you know, that study will work as well as we expect it to do. So in, in three to five years, uh, we could have a, a therapy that's applicable to, to patients. Meanwhile, Richard continues taking his anti-rejection drugs and must supplement with insulin. His transplanted eyelids are not functioning at 100%, 20 years since having the transfer. If successful in human trials, this new technique could give Richard and 9 million other people around the world a chance to live a more normal life. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.